Bradley Juby TV proudly presents. It's football time in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. The Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. Home of the seven time national champions. The most epic and brutal team in college football. The one and only Oklahoma Sooners. There's only one Oklahoma. The eyes of Texas are upon you all the live long day. The eyes of Texas are upon you. You cannot get away. Do not think you can escape them at night or early in the morn. The eyes of Texas are upon you till Gabriel blows his horn. Well, thank you, Texas Longhorns, for making me sing the eyes of Texas because the eyes of Texas are smiling upon her Longhorns. And, of course, they're giving the cuckold sign known as Hook'em Horns to the Oklahoma Sooners. Well, we definitely got cucked in this one, gentlemen and ladies. Mike Stoops, I accept your offer to resign effective immediately. I hope you resign before the team even gets back to Norman. Because that was just atrocious. There's no defending that. Oh, but Bradley, we came back. No, we didn't come back. We almost came back. That's the thing. Sometimes a failed comeback is worse than no comeback at all. Because we didn't really come back. We just tied it up. And then they kicked the field goal and... And then we couldn't answer back. We tried to do some hook and ladder stuff, but it didn't work. Should have never even came to that. We should have taken care of it, but we didn't. We couldn't tackle. We couldn't block. We couldn't get turnovers. Kyler Murray gave up two turnovers. What do you think was going to happen? Oh, but we tied it up. We were down 21 points. I don't care. I don't want a moral victory. Forget moral victories. We lost. They won. Whether by one point, or by three, or by three billion, we still lost the game to Texas, and we could have won it. I'm not taking a moral victory. We don't deserve a moral victory. It's bad enough we didn't even deserve the victory. Now I'm going to have a bunch of Texas fans spam every video that I make and say, Ha ha, hook em horns, oh you sucks. You're an autistic cuck. You're an autistic retard. Or telling me that I'm on Quaaludes, which I'm not. No, I'm heartbroken, that's what. I'm heartbroken that this team decided to just live by the offense and die by the defense, and this time, we actually died. Thank you very much. National TV to our biggest rival. I 
I'm disgusted. Our little comeback, it's not a comeback. It was a false comeback. We never really came back. But too little, too late. It's still a loss. And apparently there's a reported shooting somewhere in southeast Oklahoma City. Yay, freaking phenomenal. Well, the only thing that's going to save this weekend for me is that I'm going to a Thunder game preseason against Atlanta tomorrow with my lovely Lauren. I could sure use her right now because I am just... I'm, I'm heartbroken. Of course, that freshman kicker, Cameron Dicker. <sighs> what a phallic name. But he got his Red River moment. Congratulations to him. He's just a true freshman. But Ellinger, he got his Red River moment. Even in the game, he said he wanted to be like Chris Sims. Well, he looked like Vince Young in that game. He didn't look like no Chris Sims. He looked like Vince Young. Because our defense made him look like Vince Young. Now, I'd say our offense got a C plus. I mean, they made some plays, but they didn't make the plays that they need to do to win this game. So, you know, they get a C plus, and the special teams, I don't know, I'd give them a B. They did their part. We didn't miss any field goals, no block punts, but they didn't do anything special. But this defense gets a big fat F minus. You couldn't tackle, you couldn't stop them. You didn't bear down. You just quit. You decided, no, uh, we're not going to block and tackle. We're just going to let them score points and let the offense bail us out like we do every game. Sorry, but this live by the offense, die by the defense thing has got to stop. It cost us at Iowa State last year. Again, no, not at Iowa State, but against Iowa State last year. It cost us in the Georgia game, in the Rose Bowl. And now it cost us today. It's been costing us for the last five years. So, Mike Stoops, please sign right now. Right now. That's unacceptable. This defense has not lived up to the Oklahoma Sooner standard. It's got to change. Or we'll never see number eight. So Mike Stoops, I'm sorry, but you got to hang it up. Let somebody else run this defense. Somebody who deserves to. Somebody who knows how to coach a defense in the 2010s. Because it's not working. We've had too much patience. We've given you too much time. You lost to our biggest rival. It's over. It's over. Forget about it. You gotta go. Now, now we got the off week next week, but the fans do. Defense, you don't deserve an off week. You need to, you better work on how to tackle. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's going to get pretty bad from here, most likely. Texas, you won. Congratulations. Go ahead. Hook your horns and chant, oh, you sucks all you want. You've earned it. But Mike Stoops, please leave Norman tonight. Okay? You blew it. Goodbye. Anyway, this is Bradley Juby saying, I'm just heartbroken. That's all. This has been the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog, a presentation of Bradley Juby TV. Bye!
Boomer Sooner!